Gabriel Biantri and Ethan Williams have now scored 45 goals for Man United youth sides in 2023-24, as Manchester United midfielder injured and could now miss FA Cup semi-final. Manchester United's young players enjoyed a goal glut in the under-18 seconds demolition win over Liverpool, a scoreline which ended 9-1. Young fullback Jaden Camason commented after the game their attitude was no mercy, an attitude which has helped the team top the table with just one defeat all season. The victory saw prolific forwards Ethan Wheat Gabriel Biantri and Ethan Williams all add to their impressive goal tallies for the season. Here is a look at how their numbers stack up after a dazzling 2023-24 season to date. Ethan Wheatley Ethan Wheatley helped himself to a hat-trick in Manchester United's 9-1 win. He has had a real season of growth in the academy. Wheatley has played the majority of his football for the under-18s, but also mixed in with the under-21s too and started to make an impact. He has 18 goals in total plus a further 5 assists. Wheatley is a traditional penalty box striker, who is continuing to add to his game and showing real character with his desire to get on the score sheet. Like all strikers, he misses chances too, but when he does, he becomes even more determined to score the next one, rather than let it get him down. Wheatley turned 18 in January and will step up to the under 21 seconds on a full-time basis in 2024-25. Ethan Williams Ethan Williams has matched Wheatley with a total 23 goal contributions for the 2023 over 24 season so far. Williams' goals are broken down in a slightly different way. He has played more regularly for the under 21 seconds this season and has 15 goals in total. The teenager is different kind of player to Wheatley. He operates as a winger capable of playing on either flank, who likes to cut inside to central areas. Williams is also dangerous with set pieces, with his corner kicks helping his healthy assist tally for the season. He turned 18 in November and has been training with the first team throughout the campaign. He is one to keep an eye on in preseason and will start next season off in the under-21s. Gabriel Biantri Gabriel Biantri is in his first full season with Manchester Manchester United after signing from Cardiff City at the start of 2023. Biantri has played almost solely for the under-18s this season, recently making his under-21s debut with a seven-minute appearance from the bench. The 17-year-old is United's third-highest academy scorer this season behind Wheatley and Williams, although has more than Williams at under-18s level, 12 goals in total. He was recently on target for Wales' under-19 side and signed a professional deal with the club last September. In other news, as it would probably be the wrong phrase to say Manchester United can't catch a break when it comes to injuries. But you know what we mean. Since the beginning of the season, Manchester United's injuries have been building up. When one player returns, it seems another picks up a new problem. The team is seriously light at striker and at fullback, with these areas ripe for recruitment this upcoming summer. Central defense is another troublesome area, while Manchester United's midfield is also not immune to the injury crisis gripping the club. Scott McTominay injured. The latest player to suffer an injury is Scott McTominay. He was a surprise absentee from the matchday squad against Liverpool on Sunday in Manchester United's 2-2 draw. Little information was released about the reason for McTominay's absence ahead of the game, with manager Eric Ten Hag not disclosing the full reasons. Now the Mail has shed light on the situation and explained that it is injury-related and not down to illness. McTominay, unfortunately, has suffered a hyper-extended knee and faces three weeks on the sidelines. In addition to the game against Bournemouth this coming weekend, McTominay is now currently projected to miss the FA Cup semi-final at Wembley on April 21st. Manchester United Injury List Scott McTominay joins a growing injury list, although notably, he is the only midfielder currently ruled out. United's problems are largely concentrated in defense, with a couple of question marks in attack too. We do hope for a couple of positive surprises in the lead-up to the FA Cup semi-final against Coventry City. However, the way Manchester United's season has been going, you would expect there to be more bad news ahead of the date at Wembley. Whatever the result against Bournemouth this coming Saturday, the most important outcome might just be a full bill of health for all involved. If you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates. Get